bone on bone here. Okay. So what's happening is I'm looking at having knee surgery because the arthritis is bad. But what's happening is this knee's now affected. And I think it's because I'm trying to overcompensate in, in my walking. Okay. So let's prioritize. Okay. Most important and what you want to address. Knees. Okay. Are you talking about replacing this knee? My or? kneecap, yeah. Replacing your kneecap? Yeah, they're going to cut some out and put uh, um, plastic and metal mm -hmm. because uh, right now uh, I did the gel shots when I first got here that worked fine. I could run up and down stairs, the heels and everything. Went back and had the gel shots. It's done nothing this time. I'm in more pain than I was when I started. Okay. But it's it's um, it causes me not to sleep at night because when I lay on this side, I have to stretch my leg out and I can feel the bone popping. Yeah. Is your surgery scheduled? Uh, not yet. Um, I'm asked for December. I, uh, next week I go for my blood test, my EKG, and that other stuff. But I asked for December. I figured we're doing nothing. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. How long have you had knee pain? <clears throat> um, I'm this one say, specifically? Um, over three years. What kind of treatment have you had for the knee? Um, in California, I was doing um, physical therapy. Okay. Here, um, I went right into the gel shots. Okay. And um, as soon as I get done with um, EKG and all that, they're going to assign me physical therapy to prep my knee mm -hmm. for the surgery. Okay. And that's it. So, on a day-to-day -day basis, how much pain in that knee, 1 to 10? Um, I'm going to say it could be up to a 7. Just a constant... It's annoyance. I can't kneel anymore okay. on this knee. Right. I'm having a hard time getting up. It's making me feel old, and it's annoying. Mm -hmm. Where does all the pain reside? Um, right in here. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. What'd you do a, for work? I used to be a telephone stoner. Okay. So you know, going up and down poles. Okay. Crawling, working okay. with tools constantly. Okay. Um, I never thought I'd get to this state. I just thought it was a fallacy. Are you committed to having this surgery? Are you open to try and prevent it at this point? I'm open. I didn't think I really had an option to alleviate um, the pain or, or anything because I'm already bone on bone. Mm -hmm. And the gel shots to me are not giving me that relief I mm -hmm. wanted. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to go to steroids. No, that's not going to be beneficial. No. I just ask because I feel like it's always worth trying Okay. everything possible before having a surgery. Oh, that's my husband's belief. Especially he, something of this extent. Yeah. He's telling me not to do the surgery. Well, I, I wouldn't say don't. I'm just saying try everything possible first. Okay. Because you can't undo a surgery. You right. can always stop alternative treatments. Right. But once that's done, it's done. Yeah, on plastic and metal. Yeah. So, if you haven't had all that soft tissue and from the hip down, and even below the knee joint released, mm -hmm. you, we, we don't really have an accurate gauge as to how much pain you would really be in if that was relieved. Like okay. when you did the exercise therapy, it helped uh -huh. because you're getting more blood flow to the tissue and right. things were kind of loosening up. If we actually treat all the tightness that's compressing this kneecap against the bone. the bone, you know, against the head of your femur, mm -hmm. you you may not need a surgery. Okay. You might just be under a ton of compression, forcing that kneecap against there, and it's constantly overly compressed. If that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, like exponential. I mean, okay. the the amount of compression at that point is is enough, even in a healthy knee. Mm -hmm. Let alone if you have quadricep muscles that are extremely overly tight. That pressure goes up exponentially in the in that joint surface. So, okay. all that to say, I would l entertain the idea of really focusing on this okay. and preventing a surgery if possible. Okay, I I'm open to that. Okay, I'm I'm not close minded. <clears throat> okay, you will have a, a a good picture of how much relief you're going to get within mm -hmm. the first five visits here. At the same time, we should probably do some with this one because it's bothering you as well. Correct. Um, okay, so let, 
So if that's our main priority, we'll start with the knees. Okay. Left one over the right one as far as treatment time. And then we'll come around to some of the other things you're experiencing. Okay. So now we need to find a movement or a motion that increases your symptom in the knee. Okay. Do you know of a something that irritates it that oh, you could do here? On the floor. Just kneeling. Okay. <laughs> Any other ones? Um, like doing a squat or a lunge or that kind of motion. I could try and do a squat. Okay. What's the most painful thing that you do on a daily basis? Like st are stairs difficult or like getting up and down off the toilet? Like what's the most painful thing on a daily basis for you? Um, I would say stairs. Let's try a squat. Try and do a squat and tell me how much pain you feel, you know. Okay, I'm feeling, I'm feeling it back here a the, lot. Okay. Before it hits up to here. Okay. Okay. Um, what about doing something like a lunge? Like this, where you put that foot out in front of you. This one? Yeah, and do like a lunge type of. Um, I can feel it in, in my knee. This one. Okay. Or try going. One. Yep, try that one. Sharp pain. Oh, yeah. One to ten, how much pain there? I'm going to see about an eight or nine. Okay. And where was it? <clears throat> uh, like right in here. And does that relate to your normal symptom on the side? Yeah. Okay. I guess I'm a believer. Okay. Tell me more. Uh, I didn't go in for, this, for the surgery prep. So I'm putting that way on hold. Um, I felt great. Great. The only thing was the two areas that you really concentrated on, they did kind of flare up a little. Then mm. I put that cream on and okay. it would just, just disappear. I mean, I did more going up and down the driveway, going up in ladders, moving stuff. I've had more energy than I've had in a long, long time. And Great. this one did not bother me like it used to. Like I always said, it was like a sympathy need to this. No. Uh-uh. Wow. And I call it the torture session. Um, <laughs> great. I, I mean, I, that's why I said I never had as much energy as I had just at that one session. Awesome. Yeah. So I'm happy, very happy. Good. Not bad for one time through. No, so I know what to anticipate <laughs> right now. But um, I'm okay. The fact is that um, I was able to get down and kneel. Get down and sit down lower and get up without uh, a lot of struggle. Mm -hmm. So I don't feel uh, that I'm um, um, not, uh, uh, I don't know, I, I just lost my train of thought. Well, you're not restricted in what you can Correct. and can't do That's it. anymore. I feel more freedom. Yeah. More freedom. Great. Because kneeling wasn't really an option, correct? Like correct. You, was very painful, very and then painful. standing up from attempting to kneel was very tight right. in the back it, of the leg, correct? That's it. That tightness is gone. No. Cool. The <clears throat> the lunge that we did, where you had that foot back, uh -huh. have you done that since you no, left here? No, I was, was kind of... <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. Let's, let's give it a little try, because the first time you did this, you had... Okay, and how much pain, 1 to 10? I'm going to say it's about a 5. I can feel okay. it back here. You feel it in the backside? Backside. Okay. Yeah. Not in the, because it was more front to, no. it was more like through here. It, right, this time prior. it's on the back. Great. Uh, do a lunge again for me, but put the left foot in front. And tell me what you feel as you do that. Okay, just a little tinge, and then that was it. Okay. Okay, and but it was towards the front. Normally, that I would time. not be able to put my hand on my knee as I got up. This time, it was okay. Great. Now, I can, I can kind of fill it in here. A little bit. A little okay. bit. Okay. Do the, with the left foot back again, please. Mm -hmm. And just go down and tell me when you feel the discomfort. Right there. Okay. And it's in the... It, now, it's here. Kind of the side. Yes. Okay. Okay. Much deeper before you even feel the discomfort, mm -hmm. though. That was a nine the first time you tried it, a nine and ten, and you didn't go down very far. No, no, so it was, and I was wobbling. That yeah. I remember. Okay, great. <laughs>
Okay, let's try the same lunge, left foot back. And tell me what you feel now. Wow. I didn't feel anything. No pain on the way down that time? Uh-uh. No. Okay. Here, Over there, like yeah. that leg was working. <laughs> that's normal. That's good. Yeah. No, this. Uh, Do you mind no. doing a couple more? Here, hold on a second. Let me get you this. No, we don't have to drop your knee onto the hard floor. Okay. Just a little tinge. A little, okay. And that's it. Do it again. Go down nice and slow. Any pain? No. No pain. And how does it feel when you come back up, like putting effort through it? Does it hurt much? Okay, okay so we we're doing another reassessment today just to right. see what you want to do moving forward. Are we still pain free in the knee? Where are we at? Um, I still want to work on both of the knees because I'm still feeling that change that after the last one you did, whoa, that was, I could feel it in here. Mm -hmm. And then after about uh, about three days, then I start feeling some up here. But the thing about feeling like knock need yeah. went away, and now it's starting a little bit to come back because as I start feeling better, I'm moving more. Great. But yeah, I still need to. Uh, Great. To work on both of these. Great. Okay. Specific symptom: the knee pain. The reason you were going to have that's okay. that's. It's still gone. It's gone. We're 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 good. Yeah. We're clean.